Peace, 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 love, prosperity, abundance, self-love, self-care, wisdom, knowledge, patience, understanding, understanding, rest and standing. All the four corners of the year stand. Family, my house is under renovation. So the city came in and did some inspections. They finally painted the whole, my whole house. Well, let me say my whole apartment. And I had to call the city on them. I don't know what state you live in, but in New York, Sometimes these, these landlords, they don't want to do stuff, you know. And then as soon as it's rent, they call in, they, they call in your phone. We haven't received rent. We haven't received rent. So, yes, um, the city came in. My TV was initially right here. You can see the holes. You see? It? That's where my, my TV was. So the city came in and did ins inspections. And um, my bed was blocking the... The fire exit, so they said it's a violation, I have to move my bed. So I have to call my bros who came in to help me. We had to move the bed. Initially my bed was this way. So they moved the bed and I had to reposition the, the TV so the fire exit can be available and accessible in case of anything. So yes, you can see my curtains change, yeah. It's just, I'm still going through, it's a lot of stuff that they, they, they doing right now. And so um, you might see the view like, what's going on? Yeah, that's, that's it. But um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Shalom, aloha, salam alaikum, and grand rising, and grand rising, and you're rising to the top, rising to the top. Again, if you live in New York and you got trouble with your apartment, call 311. The landlord don't like it. Management don't like when you call 311. But sometimes that's the only way you can get them to fix stuff. You see this right here? I can do it. If I go to the super... They got this thing called plastering. It's plaster is white. I just go get a little bit. And he will mix it for me. And I'll come in here and cover the holes. And probably get some paint and then paint this. But yeah, if you want things done, you have to sometimes get the cities involved. That's the only way they will get things done. But enough of that. Today's topic is about dumbing yourself down. Today's topic is about down, like you, you downing yourself, you downplaying yourself, you downgrading yourself. Don't dumb yourself for others. Don't dumb yourself for people. Now, um, please, I'm a woman, so I have to talk from my experience and from what some of my people have also experienced. You know, um, there's a pressure on us women. You know, let's be, let's be very frank. Let's be honest with, with ourselves. We've been lying for too long. We've been protecting people that don't need our protection. We are neglecting our children, the people that actually need our protection. We are neglecting them and protecting the egos of some people. And I know y'all might disagree with me, but that's okay. I'm a spiritual person. My type of spirituality is different. I haven't met everybody that's spiritual in this world or on this planet, but I know I'm different. I don't follow nobody rules. You know, I left religion because I want to be free. I want to let the God inside of me to guide me. That's why I don't practice anything. I don't do no rituals. My rituals is I woke up this morning and I'll say, thank you, God. Thank you, divine. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Whatever you want to call it, thank you for giving me life today. Because somebody went to bed yesterday and didn't wake up. But I'm here. That's because you still have a purpose for me. I don't do no rituals. So if you're watching me thinking I do rituals, I don't. I don't do new moon rituals. I don't do half a moon rituals. I don't do none of them rituals that people do. That is because I want to be free. I feel like some, sometimes we bring the ideology or the ideas behind religion into spirituality. The whole concept of spirituality is being truthful to yourself. God is inside of you. Be kind. It's not that hard. It's in you. This side of you is negative. This side of you is positive. It don't matter if you're male or female. We all got it. You are good and bad. You are negative and positive. You are God and Satan. Same, you are a whole. You have to choose, do you want the God side of you to come out or you want the devil side of you to come out? You cannot go to any store and buy medication for spirituality. It don't happen like that. You got to go within and you got to be honest and be truthful. That's the only way you're going to set yourself free. And that's why I'm talking about do not dumb yourself down to please nobody. 
again there's pre there's pressure on us women to to pretend and protect the egos of men we have been raised we have been programmed and there's a pressure on us to protect the ego of men not even put the ego of our children ourselves no men people that are outside of us not us you know and protecting a man's ego you are a woman you cannot be intelligent. You cannot be wise. You cannot be smart. You cannot be too beautiful. You cannot be funny. You cannot be clever. You cannot be anything. We always have to lower ourselves. We always have to dumb ourselves down to, to satisfy the ego of a man. And then they tell us, oh, you need to dumb down. You don't have to let him feel like he's less of an alpha man. It's not my job to make you feel less of a man. I'm a woman, you're a man. I can never make you feel less of a man because I am not a man. It's only a man that can make you feel less of a man. It's a woman that will make me feel less of a woman, even though nobody can make me feel less of anything. But this is just an example I have to give. A woman cannot, cannot demasculate a man. A woman cannot make a man feel less of a man because I'm a woman I can't I'm not a man I don't have a penis I can't do that but for some reason we cannot be clever we cannot be smart we cannot have any achievement any accomplishment we have to dumb all of them down to please the ego of an alpha man because if I'm too clever if I'm a doctor if I can heal with my hands and he can't do that that makes him feel less of a man. But God brought me here on my journey. And my journey says, put your hands on people and heal them. And society said, don't do it because your man cannot do the same thing. So you have to lower yourself to please him. And if you're a woman watching this and you don't think that there's, that's a sin. Because God is the truth. The devil is the lie. And the truth is. You've worked hard. Some of you men watching this, you put your daughter in college. You pay for her education. She's a doctor. She's a holistic healer. She's a surgeon. She's a chef. She's a cleaner. She, own her, 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 she owns her own cleaning company. She owns a funeral home. She's doing all of this. She's a retailer, a real estate. She's a broker. She's this, she's that. You put your child through school to make sure that she's successful. Only for her to dumb everything, that only for her to throw away her, her accomplishment because of her penis, because of the ego of a man, because she has to, she has to, to calm down to please the ego of a man. That's a lie. And if you're watching this video, you know it's a lie. You are not responsible for nobody's ego. You shouldn't damn yourself down for your accomplishment, something that you have accomplished. I draw this to show you all, but I guess um, you wouldn't see it the right way, so I'll have to show you another way. It's BS. It is BS. And if you were a man and you have a daughter and you're putting your daughter through at school, and only for her to dumb it down to date, the, to date dumb it down because she wants a man then there's no need to put your daughter in school don't don't do nothing for them let them just stay home until a man come off to marry them when you have if you are an employer and you you want to employ people do you employ people that can do the job or you employ people that are down do you employ people that are up that can do the job or you employ people that are down Thank you for watching. The truth shall set us free. It's a man's job. It's a man's job to uplift himself. It's a man's job to find his purpose. It's not a woman's job to find her purpose and then dumb it down to please a man who hasn't found, who hasn't found his purpose yet. It's just an advice. Thank you for watching. There's too much pressure on us women. And it's not my job to save your ego. It's my job to save my ego, not your ego. I cannot emasculate you. I cannot make you feel le less of a man because I ain't a man.
It's your job to feel like you were a man. It's not my job. So if you're watching this video, don't, don't, don't dumb yourself down. Look at the time you went to school, the amount of effort you put in, the, the tuition, the books, the metro car, the taxi, the car, the gas you put in, all of that to, to, to see yourself somewhere in life, only for you to dumb it down because somebody refused to grow. A lot of us are stuck in a terrible relationship and we deal with people that we ain't supposed to deal with because we feel like as a woman, you, you are not supposed to be smart. You are not supposed to be beautiful. You are not supposed to be intelligent. The certain things you do, you, you're scared because, oh, I don't know how he's going to feel. It's not your fault that you are intelligent and he's not. It's not your fault that you are at a certain level that he is not. Don't let all the effort that you put in and the and the blessing that God has given you, let, don't let it be in vain because of a man. This is BS. To force us to deal with people that we know in our hearts ain't good for us. You know that these men, you know that this man that you with ain't, ain't nothing. But you, you, you dumb yourself down to make him feel good. And that's the reason why the frequency on this planet is messed up. Because majority of us are living in lies. We are not serving the true God. We are not pleasing the God within us. So today, that's the message. Do not dumb yourself down to please nobody. And if you're a man, that goes for you too. Don't dumb yourself down to please nobody. It's my job to elevate myself. It's your job to elevate yourself. It's not my job to elevate myself, then come play dumb because I want to I wanna, um, um, protect your ego. No. We have to stop living these lies that society has given to us millions and trillions of years. We got to stop it. Somebody got to put a stop to this and see the, the BS in this. This is not right. We need to encourage our men to rise up and be the men they're supposed to be. We cannot be out here pushing women to be who they're supposed to be, only in returns to go down again because somebody refused to grow. Thank you for watching. One love. Give yourself a hug. What I drew earlier. This is you. You're going up. This is him. He's going down or he's staying down. You've accomplished everything in life. But because you want him, society said you might, you might have to let go of everything to damn yourself to come be here with him. Everything that God has given you, you threw it all out to turn back to come be here. And then after you hear, you go back to church and pray to God and tell God, my man is this, my man is that. But God did not give you this. God set you to keep going. You said you want to come down here. And why do we do this? Because of society and the, and the wrong programming. Instead of teaching us to be like this, teach him. Let him be the man he is. Let her be who she is, the woman she is. And then you meet together and boom, you blossom. They said, no, you shouldn't look for this. Instead, you should look for this. Always dumb down for him. Wake up. Only truth will and shall set us free. I am a mother and I have a son. I am not raising my son to stay here just so somebody's daughter will go up here and come back to his level. No, I am raising my son to be here. And then when he gets to the level where he needs a woman, he will have to look at his level. That's like you being a spiritual person, you're on your spiritual journey, and the person that you're with is, is going down. And you want to stop your journey to come down here, and then you blame him. You don't have to. Keep going. God said to tell you to keep going. As you go, you might. Because I'm saying it might because not everybody came here to be in a relationship. Not everybody came here to, to give birth. Not every, everybody's journey is different. But God is saying, keep going. As you keep going, you might meet somebody there. Keep going. As you keep going, you might meet somebody there. Do not dumb yourself to please the ego of nobody. Thank you.